Hello and welcome to Shadow Judgment. We got fire and water left. For anybody who's new to my channel and this program series thingy that I have going on right here, Shadow of Judgment is where I look at the nooks, the crannies, the circles, the corners to see what's happening below on the subconscious. Maybe shadow sides, maybe um, whatever's in the background that might not be fair, things that you don't know about, things that you're unaware about, things that you might be scheming about. We got water and fire left, so who's getting what? Strength. Last week, fire signs had strength reverse, I believe. Fire signs. This is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game. And if you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are down in the description box below. First reading's free of charge, and everything else afterwards comes with the price, and I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly, and love you very much. Mwah. Aries, you got the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Could be Earth sign. Virgo cap. Taurus, right? And a lack of understanding or clarity with the Ace of Swords reverse. Yeah, it might be being demanding, an unfaithful spouse, someone who isn't considerate. King of Cups reverse. Water signs. It's Pisces Scorpio. This person is ready to move on to calmer waters. They're disgruntled. And over here, this person is just sitting... Um, peacefully. Could be Libra, Taurus, could be female Aries, so it could be you Aries if you're female. Uh, this person who is kind of selfish and a dick, uh, they got the Wheel of Fortune on them. They're, they're not being really considered. They actually have their back turned to the Empress, not looking at her, looking more at this, um, Queen of Pentacles, who isn't the nicest person. Or, God, I cannot talk today, I swear. She isn't the nicest person. She's actually really demanding and expects a lot from somebody. Like, she can produce her own pentacles, but she's being like, nah, yours is mine too. Give it here. And she's moving on to calmer waters. And those calmer waters are, you know, I don't know. It's almost like she's moving towards the devil. Um, could be Capricorn right here. She might not have exposed herself. Or maybe she has. This person over here is a bit secure, and they're keeping their securities pretty close. Well, this dude over yonder is, uh, playing games. Like, driving other people away. King of Swords, reverse. Could be air sign in this as well, once again. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Three of Swords Reverse. All right. Fire signs. Let me see. Oh, Magician popped up for a second, too. Just so everyone is aware. Okay, so let's see. Aries. An Earth sign's moving to calmer waters, but I can't tell if it's, like, to be in a really bad relationship or if they are leaving from that bad relationship because this is Capricorn's card. It's almost like this person hasn't shown their true selves yet. And this is causing, like, some negativity, some harshness, some cutthroat words just to hurt, whatever, right? Um, this King of Cups right here, he's being selfish, looking over this Queen of Pentacles who's reversed, ignoring this Empress over here. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune is turning on the games they played, and this person is being driven away, and that's left these individuals over here in a shitty mood. Very, very bad. Not really coming forth with the truth. And because there's no coming forth with the truth, this Empress person is holding all the cards to her chest. You know, in order to prevent herself from getting hurt once again by these people. Or she could have been the one who originally drove them away, but I really don't feel like that's the case as well. Um, all right. Why are these people in a shitty mood with the King of Swords? Right? Right. What is their problem? What's the dealio, son? Uh, the book? They got what they wished for behind the curtain. Which is not good. <laughs> it was bad karma all around. That's why the wheels turned bad karma. 
some injustice came to play. You know, safety violation and all that, right? Right. That's what you're probably dealing with this week, Aries. Oh yeah, this is for the uh, second to the ninth. I don't know if I said that, but I'll but I said it now, so it still counts. Leo, it's your turn for your shadow. Yay. What's coming up for you this week? Hopefully nothing too crazy, nothing too horrible, right? Right. Ooh, two cups. You may be starting something new or you have a connection with somebody. And a queen of swords, Jesus Christ. Okay, someone is not looking at this little connection right here in the best of light um, because it won't fucking die <laughs> what okay you might be dealing with an air sign who might be crazy just putting that out there scorned woman perhaps uh, something was manifested here and now this person over here wants to take a leap of faith to something that will not die Empress reverse what is happening <laughs> Leo, ooh, what was manifested to help avoid it a tower? And this person's leaping with some truth to back them up. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let, let me lay out the other two, Leo, and then I'll look over this. Because this one's kind of confusing to me. Just give me, like, two seconds. Okay, I hate to say it, but I almost feel like you're waiting for someone to die. <laughs> Just, like, that's kind of crazy, but I don't know. It's different. So let's see, there's a relationship right here that someone manifested in order to avoid a tower so something wouldn't end, right? But it's like... Hmm... It's like something won't die, and that's leaving this Empress person. Could be Libra, could be a female Aries, could be Taurus, that Venetian energy, right? It, it's left this Empress person really bitter and sitting there feeling mournful feeling grief because this thing is ended you know but still reserving her strength and this is yours leo there's a queen of swords i hear aquarius uh libra gemini who wants to take a leap of faith and i think to order to get the truth or to get that truth and take it into the future um and they are coming with strength as well What was it you manifested? Or what was this relationship manifested, Leo? I'm so confused. Yes, I am. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Snooping. What? Looking for some negative information? Wait, what? Okay, what? There's a Queen of Pentacles here who is conspiring or... Like, she's by herself and she's looking at her pentacles, but immaturely, like, she kind of looks information up and, like, creates... Um... It's like she's confirming her own biases about why she doesn't want to give her love out. Like, she's usually good by herself, but, like, it's like she's paranoid when it comes to giving her heart away. To you, possibly. What? And it leaves you a little bit, like, you know, disempowered. Just a little bit. I'm confused. I'm just laying some out because I'm curious. Because, you know, my husband's a Leo. And I'm very, uh, curious right now. Okay. Leo, I feel like there's somebody here that you... 
brought something in, but it's like... Whatever it is just turns everything topsy-turvy with the world. It leaves someone feeling really impatient, wanting what they want now, acting like a brat, um, acting like a martyr, which is like... It causes a separation here with the lovers. Like someone's wasting time with them. So I don't know. Like I honestly thought that was gonna say like what well, my baby's cheating and be like, oh my god, I will murder him. I mean, as long as it doesn't bring it into my house and I don't know that it has a name, I really don't care, but you know, uh don't let me find out. That's just me. <laughs> That's just how I feel about it, but I don't know. But that was weird, Leo. I'm not sure how to take that one. Because it seems like you are... I don't know. It's almost like you're feeding it from one thing into another. I don't know. Sagittarius, it's time for your shadow. Hopefully it's not as, like, weird as Leo's. Because I'm not sure what to make of that. You got the moon. Pisces or Cancer right here. Some secrets. You two have the Queen of Swords. That crazy lady. Ah, okay. Leah, I'm sorry yours was so weird. I was just looking at it and it just got like a little personal. If that makes sense. World reverse. A lot of fighting. Trying to come to a decision. Using intuition in it. King of Cups. Once again, Pisces Cancer. Seven of Swords. Alright, Sagittarius? Um, yours is just as weird as Leah's. Never mind. Let's see. Heartbreak. Trying to recover from it. Not going to that booty, that's for sure. And trying to gain a victory here after all of this. Sagittarius, it looks like you're putting up a fight to fight the good fight as far as I can tell um, there are secrets I think that you're fighting against or you're fighting against some sort of water sign with it who's just almost battling it or bringing that battle out into uh, the real world instead of their head but then they, they act like they got the thousand yard stare and they don't know what you're talking about like fighting it back a lot right and they're not coming for that booty right also, crosswatch your switch if you have to. Now, the world right here is reverse. And someone's using their intuition to help them with this heartbreak. Because they feel really out of whack with everything. And it's hard for them to make a choice without feeling like they have to defend or fight for themselves all the time. They just want that victory. They're just like, I am sick of poking up. Or poking. Putting up a fight all the time. I just want to eat my cheeses and go home. You know? Like, trying to be in your power but still stay in guard, you know? Or protect what it is that, like, it is that is important to you. Like, as a king, like, you're actually going up for the fight instead of letting your servant do it for you. Kind of deal. Let's see. Why is this person not coming for the booty? There's an open door. <laughs> the door is wide open for him to take the bootay. And they are waiting for the bootay, but they're not... What? I think they're waiting for you, Sag, if this isn't you. I think they're waiting on you to come get that booty. Because they're not coming to get the booty. They're wait they want you to come get the booty. Like, you know, they want marriage. Um, it could be with a Gemini as well, since that's there. Well, Gemini is also up here as well as uh, Aquarius and Libra, but still. Let's see what this um, victory is real quick. Just looking over shit, just being like, hmm, this is how far I've come. It's been a mind trip, and I feel like it's just time. It's, it's well overdue, you know. That's how you're feeling. You're anxious to get, like, some sort of victory, to feel conquerable to feel uh, like you got somewhere like you have that foothold and it had people praising you in the end but that's what i got for you fire signs right now thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe no pressure 
you know, it's really up to you. I hope you guys have a good day. Love your faces, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.